One thing I wanted to make sure that we covered, and instead of talking about the past, I, I definitely wanted to look forward into uh, PHP. And so I wanted to see if we could cover some of the um, some of the, the updates that have come out recently, um, but also wanted to see if, if y'all could shed some light on, um, you know, on, on what uh, the kind of projected roadmap of PHP and what we're going to see um, in future versions. So even though, uh, you know, I think, you, you know, there are some new updates that have come out that I think some folks at home may not know about. So if you want to mention some some new stuff that's come out maybe in the, you know, in the last like year or so, that, that would be good to cover. But I do want to talk about, you know, that, that roadmap and what we're going to see in PHP. If anyone wants to take that one away. So right now in PHP 8.1, I guess, we already kind of touched upon the, 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 the main things. But I'd say that enums and fibers are like the highlights of this version, right? Enums is something that is like way past, you know, it should have yep. been done like ages ago and it's very useful. And fibers is something that like Python already has, JavaScript has, no the promises and what other language has and like PHP was just doing this old way, old way of doing things. And now it has as well. Now we can get like some light bit threads, have a concurrency and it's going to help a lot. And moving forward from what I, I, I remember reading about version 9 and version 9.2, they'll be looking more into, you know, like organizing things. Because PHP still has some issues from the past. You know, the, the order of the parameters, like what they call the needle and haystack, yep. is one function. Then the other one is the haystack first and the needle second. And they're looking more into making things organized and and removing old things, 8.2, I guess they are finally deprecating dynamic properties, which to me never made sense. Like you have a, you, you have an object, you have a list of properties, but when you instantiate that, that, that class and create an object, you can just create new properties and they're yep. deprecating it finally. And they, I guess it's supposed to be removed completely by PHP nine. So that's, again, it's what we say in the beginning, you know, it's a very slow pace to deprecate this, these things, but well. But now, now it's consistent, and so I really yeah. like it. Yeah, in uh, eight point two, null and false will become uh, standalone types, which is really interesting, especially because a lot of uh, old uh, functions return these types. Yeah, so yeah. it will be way easier to to have them in union, for example, and know what to expect. Yeah. Uh, in 8.1, I think they introduced uh, read-only properties. Now we'll have read-only classes. Yeah. So again, okay. great feature for DTOs for value objects, probably. Yeah. Also space saving because you don't have to assign read-only read-only to every property. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rather than just assign read-only to the class itself. So. And I, I guess the, the, the most polemic one is the string interpolation. I remember they are deprecating one of the formats of string interpolation mm -hmm. and developers, they just went like crazy. They say, brother, they're <laughs> going to break my software. They said, oh, I'm sorry. Because uh, actually I don't fully agree with this deprecation is because uh, it's very similar in JavaScript actually. And you know, when you are doing both, both worlds, it's it's kind of annoying that you can't do strings the same way yeah in the, uh, in javascript it's called uh, template string and this is uh, I actually uh, it works very similar to what they are now deprecating uh, in php so yeah i don't know why to be honest i don't really understand the the reasoning behind it but i remember reading on the on the development website of PHP that the reason is that they we have like three or four different ways to do string interpolation and they wanted to make things standardized so that is also an indication that deprecating this one you know the, 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 the dollar sign and the curly braces we have two so they'll most likely deprecate another one of these in the future to keep only a single way to do string interpolation kind of makes sense you know have a single way to do things but I do know that people who are using the old way, they're going to say, oh my God, I'm going to have to go through the entire code, just replacing the string interpolation. It's, uh, it's a nightmare, but. How about, uh, is there anything that you would like to see uh, coming up in, in PHP that- uh, Generics, that, that... generics, yeah, you generics. generics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, that's the only, if they, I don't really care about 
any other update. Yeah. If they introduce generics, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. I, I don't need anything more. I guess, <laughs> I guess one of the things that I miss in PHP, and I uh, this is when I actually create an account at the, the dev.php.net, and mm -hmm. I talk to the core developers, and I voted like in favor of this, but it, it ultimately it was rejected as a change, is to have method overloading in PHP. I yeah. still don't understand why <clears throat> PHP is the only language in the universe that has this unique way you when know, method overloading in PHP means something completely different. There's no way to have the same method in two classes with different arguments. It would just throw, oh, this method already exists. And like the, the people from the core team, they have their own like excuses to, oh no, but like, you know, the way it is right now, it makes sense to us. Like, man, why do you want so much to be like so different? You know, let's yeah. just do it because it helped a lot. Now we have to create the same method, you know, you could just add different parameters, but now, now you have to like just come up with different names for the same thing. So this is something that I miss. I, I agree with Kuba, generics is good, but for me, method overloading is something that I frequently have to deal with. Awesome. Uh, we just got an interesting comment, even though I, I do want to uh, make sure we get to all of our, our questions, but someone just asked, um, they'd like to know individually uh, what uh, IDE um, you use. So I do think that's a good question. I do like taking uh, comments from, from folks watching live. So if you want to talk about uh, what IDE you use quickly or, or your favorite, even if you're not using it right now. For me, I think PHP Storm is, is the best. I, I don't even consider others. Yeah. I use, it's yeah, I use, I, I use IntelliJ. It's, it's the same thing. It's just that yeah. you know, for, for, it's from JetBrains as well. Yep. Just support multiple languages. But I use mm -hmm. PHP Storm a lot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm using IntelliJ. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're the part of uh, PHP Foundation now, that was oh, okay. uh, recently uh, actually created. It's probably because I know in front-end world, like VS Code is like a killer, yeah? Nobody uses anything else, yeah? Starting an application of PHP Storm is like, it takes a bit time, yeah? Mm -hmm. But working with it is so fast, yeah? because yeah. it caches everything so uh, accessing like every possible file uh, there is in your project is like blazing fast yeah yeah and uh, that that was game changer yeah yeah also it supports modern frameworks as well uh symphony and Laravel. So oh yeah yeah their mm -hmm. coding standards mm -hmm. as well so yeah it's, it's right good. that's right let me ask a follow-up questions on this one just out of curiosity any of you guys ever used zend studio because it's so expensive, I've never seen anyone using it. I, I I've wonder. Like, I, it first time. <laughs> I, I used to. Really? I think that there was like a, a period when you could like try it or something. Yeah. Because I was uh, I was a Zen Framework One developer, and actually, mm -hmm. uh, the story behind it is that Zen was developed uh, developed by creators of PHP. So for me, it was like yes, a, it was. okay. If if I have to choose a framework, uh, this gotta be it, yeah. So and uh, the same I thought uh, regarding uh, Zen Studio. Problem is that it's based on Eclipse, which I've never liked. Yeah. It yeah. was always like bulky, slow. Um, yeah, I switched to NetBeans uh, very fast and he never looked back at uh, anything uh, that was uh, connected or based on Eclipse, yeah? 